Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a, a heads up about how um, how data tables work and the ex expectation of data tables in uh, lab reports. Realize that you use a data table anytime you want to um, easily show large groups of data. Now, unfortunately, if you have a data table in Plotly, you can't um, import that data table into a Google Doc. Um, you could take a picture of it and then um, and then crop the picture and add it as a file, um, but, but I don't necessarily like that as the best option. So when you go into Google Docs and you open it, this is my untitled doc, you want to go to table and you want to insert a table. Now it looks like you're limited by the number of rows and columns you can have and make sure you add rows and columns based on the <laughs> on not only the number of data you have but also the heading the column headings so um, so make sure you do that but you can actually make this as big as you want um, up to you know as big as uh, whatever you need okay when you put a when you put a data table in then okay that'll be the I'll make a five by five okay it's right there now when you put your column heading in realize that you're gonna have to do this and you always put the units in the column heading now you can do that by saying distance in meters or you can say um, time and then you could put parentheses seconds however you want to do that now for me I would always try to make this look as professional as possible by centering stuff you can also shade if you want but you want to make this look as easy and as readable um, as you can but the last thing that you have to make sure that you include is a caption much like a data table or much like a graph has to have a title a data table has to have a caption and you always number data tables sequentially so you're gonna write table and you always use the Roman numerals so this is data table one and then you would say this table um, shows the data that was obtained um, during lab one okay if you need to put another table in okay I'll just show you real quick let's say it's something like this you put in your thing okay now this would be table two and that may have to be um, calculate results of calculations uh, for um, lab one okay or whatever okay so you can however many data tables make sense is what you need to provide for the lab um, so there it is that's my little primer on how to use data tables I uh, hope this helps